Hello, my name's Nick. I'm a first year medical student at the University of Warwick. And I'm Dan, also a first year medical student here. Okay, so you guys have, um, you've reached the end of your first year at the illustrious Warwick Medical School. Um, <laughs> was it everything you were hoping it would be? Do you want to go first, Dan? Was it everything I was hoping it would be? Um, yeah, I think it was. I think you're, you're prepped, you know. People say, what, what I heard a lot of people, particularly on my medic family, which uh, I could exp do you want me to explain the medic family yeah, sure. idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty much what I expected. So, um, my medic parents, who are people assigned to me the year above, told me uh, quite a nice phrase, which was, you survive first year and then you thrive. <laughs> and so, I feel like it has been a survival of yeah. first year. Yeah, I think I think I definitely agree. I, I sort of I knew it was going to be intense. Um, I was very aware of that. I think graduate entry medicine as a whole. I mean, medicine is intense, but then if you're going to squish two and a half years into one, it's going to be an absolute. Absolutely. You know, it's going to be mental. Um, so I did appreciate it. Um, so I'd say probably yes, um, but uh, yeah, pretty much. I, I'd say it was what I expected, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. What's been the most challenging element of first year? I think um, I think probably the most challenging bit, though, I did expect is simply the level of work you have to put in. Um, from my previous experience, my undergrad was very much coursework based. Um, I only had one written exam, uh, so going f the last, I would say, proper exams I had were probably about six years ago. Um, so going from uh, sort of working and sort of doing a lot of essays to then having to learn and regurgitate a huge amount of knowledge, um, I think has definitely been a shock to the system, even though you know, I was aware that it was going to be something I had to do. Yeah. I think, I think a, a big challenge to me, sort of extracurricular almost, has been, because I, I took a few years out from my undergrad to coming here, has been readjusting to coming back into academia and learning through PowerPoint and PowerPoint and not having a wage, which is that there's something about having a monthly paycheck that makes you think, oh, yeah, we were talking about this before, yeah, we were weren't we? About this earlier. Yeah, and a lot of people have said they missed that because they got almost too accustomed to it, I think. Mm. Yeah. I think, yeah, going from um, the joys of suddenly getting your first paycheck, um, sort of, you know, as a trainee nurse and then getting your first paycheck is sort of oh my god and then when you that money is suddenly taken away from you you're like oh wow i'm back to square one again yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's been the most enjoyable element of first year the most enjoyable element has been not having to work <laughs> <laughs> which sounds really yeah um so i came from um working in ambulance control to here which was uh, mostly nights, 60 hour weeks for pretty poor pay, a lot of responsibility, steep learning curve. And I think the pace of being back at university where the pressure's off and you can learn for the sake of learning mm. has been the most enjoyable thing for me for sure. I think, I know, um, sounds, maybe sounds slightly put down to Dan, but I really enjoyed my job. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I think that's um, so <laughs> something that I, I do actually miss my job quite, um, sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes I do miss it. Um, so, uh, I've um, just sort of have enjoyed learning what we've learnt. Um, I have enjoyed sort of seeing my progression and also, um, you know, when I've sort of been able to. Uh, push across things realising I'm learning um, new knowledge and learning new facts that I can hopefully use in the future. Mm. So um, yeah, I think the um, while some of them have been quite draining, uh, you know, going to lectures and learning about clinical skills, of, you know, I think I've really enjoyed. Cool. So very quickly, what have been your, I know we've talked about this, but mm. what, what are your favourite blocks from year one? I think my favourite block has probably been uh, block two, which is sort of the heart and the lungs, simply because um, it's something that I've, I think as a nurse, it's the closest um, I had knowledge of before. So being able to apply what I've seen before and then see the more pathophysiology, physiology, anatomy of it now, um, I think I found, found most enjoyable.
Yeah, I've loved I loved block three the most. Um, brain and behavior, which comes as no surprise to anyone <laughs> who knows me, because I, I love the brain, I love neuroscience and neurology. Um, I've I've done quite a bit of neuroscience beforehand and uh, anatomy in my previous degree of it, but having like the um, the correlates of it and a bit more information like that has been very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, is there anything that um, is there anything that surprised you? about your first year in medical school? Um, I think I wasn't expecting sort of maybe the broad spectrum of things we learnt. Uh, I was sort of maybe expecting first year to very much be um, just sort of key sciences. Um, I sort of I thought they would link sort of um, pathology and pathophysiology into it as well but um, sort of learning all the clinical skills in first year and linking those back and sort of I thought we would be just sort of, I knew we were going on towards what I thought it would be. You learnt about heart failure, here's a patient with heart failure. Um, but we have actually interlinked quite a lot of that clinical aspect into it as well, which I've enjoyed but wasn't um, expecting as much. Yeah, I remember um, the, the, the speed of the year has really, I, I can't believe yeah. we've had a year. Like, I can't believe we've been here for nine, ten months now. Yeah. It's, it's outrageous. Mm. <laughs> but also just sort of, I remember doing some teaching back at Liverpool um, to second and third year medical students who were just beginning doing their cardiovascular OSCE practice. Mm. And we had done that in the first few weeks. Yeah. Like, um, we had, we basically had done so many different OSCEs, and mm. which, are, which are the clinical examinations, that the skills of the different systems that you examine. And we were doing them at the bedside mm. Uh, an awful lot quicker than you see at a lot of different medical schools, yes. which is part of the accelerated nature, I suppose. I think that is part of the accelerated course. I think, uh, I know different med schools go about it a different way and that is the way Warwick does it. And it, it has its bonuses that when you're learning about the anatomy of it, it makes sense to then learn how to do a cardiac exam mm -hmm. um, or learn how to do a cranial nerve exam. It, I think um, it definitely helps the learning process, but um, yeah, I wasn't imagining it to be that condensed per se. Yeah. What's your favourite clinical exam to perform? Uh, I think I quite, <laughs> I know I quite enjoy doing the, uh, trying to think, maybe doing the abdominal exam, because that's, okay. some, that's something I've seen lots of doctors do on wards. <laughs> I had no idea what they were doing for this. Um, it sounds really silly, but um, you just see sort of, because from my position I've seen a lot of examinations, but normally the doctor does the examination, I'm off going to do something else. Uh, so sort of seeing them, you know, just um, tapping on people's tummies, I didn't quite realise, but now knowing what I'm looking for, um, I know it's sort of, I'm like, oh yeah, do you know, I can do that now. I think that's what I most, most enjoyed. I loved the cranial nerve exam. <laughs> I just, I, I had to love the cranial nerve <laughs> exam. Didn't I? I think it's just, it's such a, it's so elegant because you, you learn the, the nerves of the head and neck in a very systematic order from how they grow out in embryology. And that's the order in which you do the examination. Mm. And it's just, it just makes such logical sense. Mm. And you, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I expected that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, just Finally, one bit of advice each for people thinking about coming to Warwick. For Warwick in particular? Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Um, I think the main thing which Warwick doesn't necessarily sell as much as they could do is access support. Um, I know that in other, other universities they do have medic families. Um, I know in just other universities as a whole they do have sort of uh, college families and things like that. But. Um, the support here is fantastic. Um, I mean, they've got student seminars running and I think maybe it's sort of the second years realise the pain you've been through, so they recognise <laughs> that you need that support. But um, I mean, they could very happily just be like, I had to deal with it, you have to deal with it now. But yeah, yeah the, I mean, every step of the way, everything you cover, you are also supported on by teaching from the years above. So I think that's, yeah. that's been fantastic. I think the peer support is really good here. Mm. I think I think it's something they should be very proud about. Mm. I think it's um, really useful to people. I would say do not be afraid of the uh, the aptitude test you have to take to come here because people hate it and it is it's horrible. We've all had to do it. 
I was sho I don't know about you, but I was shocking when I first did some of those questions. Oh yeah, I, I, I literally looked at the paper at the first time and I was like, this is never going to happen, this is never going to work. Yeah. And it sounds like something, okay, it's something like an aptitude test, so you mm -hmm. think, oh, aptitude, it's IQ, it's something that you are, it's mm -hmm. not something you can revise for. Yeah. You can absolutely revise for that test. Yeah. And your mark will improve if you do. Yeah. I think I've, I've never done something where practice makes perfect so much. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can revise, um, knowledge, so they, um, say, I don't know, for the BMAT or the GAMSAT, but UKCAT, it's simply just practice. Yeah. Because um, then it's just recognizing patterns. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah.